Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. This is lesson eight, and in this lesson, we will learn about method and function. But in details, I will talk about methods and functions and their differences in my coming lessons. In this lesson, I will only briefly tell you about methods and functions and their differences. We will also learn about the use of methods and functions uh, using some examples like reverse, sort, insert. And append as the examples of methods, while length, maximum, and minimum as the examples of functions. Let's define function first. A function is a block of organized reusable code that is used to perform a single related action. Then what is method? Method is the same thing. It's a block of organized reusable code that is used to perform a single related action. But what is different here is that method is only defined inside a class, not outside. What is a class then? A class is just a template for an object. About methods and objects and classes, I will explain you in the next lessons in detail. The next question is, how are methods used? Methods are used with dot notations. That is, first you will have to type the name of the object and then dot and then the name of the method so object dot method for example this is a list which you have stored in an object called obg and this is also a container how will you use a, a method for example we have a method dot count which counts a specific number in that object for example you want to count the number four in this list obj then type the name of the variable that is obj and then the name of the method dot count so obj dot count and then in parentheses you will have to type the number that you want to count and how are functions used they are not used with dot notations. They are used without dot notations. First, you will have to type the name of the function. And then in the parentheses, you can type any object you have created. For example, len is a function. You will have to use it like this, len. And then parentheses, inside parentheses, you will have to type this, obj. Now let's compare methods with function. If you use method on an object, for example, you inserted a number in a list, then that object is modified and it will contain that inserted number in it. But the function just gives you the output, but it doesn't modify the object itself. Another difference is that method is called on an object, while function is called without an object. Method is bound always to a class, while function is not bound to any class. Method is specific, while function is generic. If a class doesn't have a method, you cannot call that method on an object of that class. But on the other hand, a function can be called on any object of any class. Method is dependent on object, while function is independent of an object and its class. Unless you type the name of the object, method cannot be called. While on the other hand, functions are called without typing the name of the object. Methods are always defined inside a class and functions are always defined outside the class. In structural languages like C, we use functions. In object-oriented languages like C Sharp and Python, we use methods. Python is a hybrid language, so you can use functions as well as methods in Python. Methods are always used with dot notations. However, functions are not used with dot notations. For example, obj.method. This is the dot notation. While functions, as you can see, it doesn't have any dot notation in its use. Now let's use some uh, methods and functions. Methods, for example, dot reverse, dot sort, dot insert, dot append. And functions, for example, len, next, and min. First of all, let's learn the use of a method reverse. What does this method do? This method reverses the sequence of numbers or characters in a list. For example, you have created a list and you have named it A, or you can see you have saved it in a container A, and that list has the numbers from 1 to 5. 
If you want to reverse the sequence of numbers from 1 to 5 in this list, you will have to use the method reverse. So how will you use the method reverse? First type the name of this object or the container that is A and then dot reverse. This is the name of the method and then the pair of parentheses A dot reverse. As soon as you type this statement and hit enter, this A will be modified and the sequence of the numbers will be reversed in this object A. And then just print A, you will see that the sequence of the numbers have been reversed in that object. However, you cannot use this reverse method on tuples, sets, or dictionary. What if the reverse were a function? Then you will have to type it like this, reverse, and then parentheses, and inside parentheses, you will have to type the name of this object. So reverse A, if it were a function. But as we know, in Python, reverse is a method, and it's not a function. So you will have to use it in this dot notation method, not in this way. Another method is the dot sort method. What does dot sort method do? It sorts the numbers or the letters in a string or in a list in ascending order. For example, you have a list A. This list has five numbers from one to five, but they are not arranged in ascending or descending order. So if you want to arrange these numbers in this object A in ascending order, then you will have to use the method dot sort. So you will have to type A dot sort and then pair of parentheses. Then type print A, you will see the result. The numbers are now arranged in ascending order. You cannot sort on tuple, set, or dictionary. What if sort were a function? Then you will have to use this sort in this way, not in this way. That is sort and then parentheses and then the name of the object or the name of the container. Now let's see the use of insert method. For example, Again, you have an object, a list with some numbers in it, and you want to insert another number in this object, in this list A. Then you will have to use the method insert. This is the syntax of the use of insert method. That is the name of the container, dot, name of the method, that is insert, and then pair of parentheses, inside parentheses, you will have to use two values. The first one is the index that will tell this method where to put this number. So this is the number that you want to insert in this list. And this is the index that is the position where you want to insert that number. For example, you want to insert number seven at position three. Remember in Python, the position numbers always starts with zero. So this is at position zero. This is at position one, this is at position two, and this is at position three. So seven will be inserted in the place of five, that is after one. When you type print A, you will see the list with the inserted number, that is seven at position three. These are the position numbers, zero, one, two, three, four, five. This seven is at the position number three. So seven was inserted at position number three. What if insert were a function? You will have to type it in this way. Insert, pair of parentheses, and then the name of the object, comma, position, comma, the number you want to insert in it. But as we know, insert is not a function, insert is a method. That's why we cannot use insert in this way. We will have to use it in this syntax. Now the append method. Again, you have a list with some numbers now stored in container A.
the syntax of using the append method is a dot append and then inside the pair of parentheses the value that you want to append to this object a remember the difference between insert and append is that in insert you can insert a value anywhere in this list but using append you cannot insert the value anywhere in this list the append will always insert the value at the end of the list so any value you want to insert it will be inserted after this number 4 a dot append 7 you want to insert you want to append number 7 at the end of this list so this 7 will be inserted at the end when you type print a the result will appear like this with number 7 inserted at the last position if append were a function the syntax of using the function append would be like this now let's come towards the use of some functions the first function is len which tells you the length of the object the number of digits or the number of letters in a string for example you have a tuple a in which you have numbers one two four so there are three numbers in this tuple if you want to know the length of this tuple then you will have to use this len function similarly you can use the same function len on strings for example you have a string b which contains some letters the length of the string a is six so if you want to find out the length of a the the syntax is len and then in parentheses type the name of the object it will tell you the length of the tuple similarly if you want to find out the length of b then type len inside pair of parentheses type the name of the object that is b it will tell you the length of this object what if length were a method not a function then the syntax would be like a dot len and for b it would be like b dot len but here as we know in python len is a function and not a method so you cannot use len in this way but you will have to use it in this way next is another function this function tells you the maximum value in a list or a tuple for example you have a, a tuple stored in a and a string stored in b and you want to find out the maximum value in the tuple as well as in the string then the syntax of using max is max and then pair of parentheses and then the name of the object of the tuple in between these parentheses it will tell you that four is the maximum value in this tuple max b it will tell you that the biggest uh, value in this string is s if max were a method then you will have to use max in this syntax the last one is the min function again you have two variables two objects one with a tuple and another with a string to find the minimum value in a the syntax is like min and then inside parentheses type the name of the object a it will tell you that one is the minimum value in this tuple and if you type min b the minimum value will be a in the string r o s h a n if min were a method the syntax would be totally different and you would have to use it in the dot uh, notation now let's open the ide and try some of the functions and methods for example you have a container a that contains a list of numbers from one to five and then you want for example insert a number in this list you will have to type a dot insert and then inside parentheses the index for example you want to insert it after this three so the index of this three is two zero one two so you are you want to insert it at position three you will have to type three and then what number you want to insert for example eight hit enter and now see the result print a here you can see that the number eight has been inserted at position number three now let's see the use of a function for example len then and then type the name of the object that is a so it tells you that the length of this object a is six 
So one, two, three, four, five, and six, because A has been modified by this insert method. So that was all for today. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, bye.